many years ago, I had a dream. And I'd like you to know that dreams do come true. Not just in fairy tales, not just in the movies, but in real life. I grew up in Sokoto, northern Nigeria. It was a much smaller town then, and I had a passion to become a car designer. All the people that really inspired me were the ones that I had seen in magazines and books and on TV. And the cars too that inspired me, none of them were in Sokoto. Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Di Tommasos, and the designers of those vehicles, you know, Pininfarina, Bertone, Giugiaro, but they inspired me to go for my dreams. There were a lot of people who thought that it wouldn't be possible, but I stuck to my guns. I love Nigeria beyond words. I love Africa also beyond words. I left and went to the US not to get away from Nigeria, but to better myself in hopes that one day I'll have the opportunity to come back home and make a difference. Imagine if you may, in the not too distant future, an Africa and a Nigeria of unbelievable accomplishments. A Nigeria and an Africa so advanced that most of the problems we now face would by then have been relegated to the pages of history forever. That Africa is not just a possibility, it's an imperative destination that we must reach. And yes, it can happen. Because we cannot afford not to have, for every man, woman, and child, a happy and progressive life. We cannot afford not to have housing, affordable housing for everybody. We cannot afford not to have super advanced cities that are at par with any in the world. To do this, we need solutions that understand Africa, that understand Nigeria, that understand where we are from and where we need to be. What is Africa? It is a magnificent continent unlike any other. From the great plains of the Serengeti to the incredible mountaintop Eden of Ngorongoro, from the banks of the Zambezi to the hot water springs of Yankari here in Nigeria, it is an absolutely magnificent continent where for millions of years, both flora and fauna have coexisted in a perfectly choreographed, never-ending dance of life. The people of Africa themselves have incredible histories and heritage. Going all the way back to the builders of the Great Pyramid, the most magnificent which structures was the Great Pyramid of Giza, standing close to 500 feet high above the bare desert floor. I studied at uh, the College for Creative Studies in Michigan. And after graduation, I was actually making plans to come back to Nigeria, to the country that I love so much. And an interesting story happened. I was done with my studies. I had gotten a scholarship from Sokoto State. So I was trying to reach the Nigerian embassy so I could get a one-way ticket back to Nigeria, back to Sokoto. I went downstairs into the basement where the phone booth was and tried to contact the lady who worked there. I kept trying, but I couldn't get through to her. I said, well, maybe I'll just give her five minutes. Uh, I saw a friend of mine through the window. I'll go over to him, you know, chat a little bit, come back, and try to get her so I could uh, get my one-way ticket back home. And as soon as I approached my friend, Chris was his name, he said, where have you been? The con company, General Motors, is trying to get a hold of you because all the phones had been switched off. They're trying to get a hold of you so you can go in for an, an interview. I called them up the next day, so I forgot about calling the lady, went back upstairs, called the GM, and they said, yes, we've been trying to get a hold of you so we can interview you. We really want you to work with us. And they say the rest is history. So I got employed by GM, and I got to work there in the United States. I got to work also in Germany. I also got to design quite a number of very exciting vehicles, which include the world-acclaimed Chevrolet Volt electric car. This was a vehicle that really set the stage for mass market vehicle electrification. And now, as you know, we have many, many companies producing electric vehicles around the world, including Hyundai Nigeria, which I'm very proud to have been part of promoting that technology here 
in Nigeria. A very important message to the young ones seated here in the room, tuning in online. Always believe in your dreams. Nothing is impossible. When we do talk about dreams, it has to be big. Because everyone is born with a special talent. Every one of us is special. Everyone has God-given talent from birth. Some people get to know what that talent is, some don't. But it's crucial that we all understand what it is and work to develop it so that it can be used to add value to this great nation. When we talk about developing the country, you're in uh, this, this school. Very soon, a lot of you would proceed to university and, and, and into professions. I urge you to go beyond the traditional courses that we're all used to. This is an opportunity for you to really go into fields that would add significant value to Nigeria, to Africa, and to the world. When we talk about the challenges that we uh, face, and I see them just as challenges, they don't really define us. I love to say that we must never be defined by the challenges that we face, because that's just what they are, challenges. We're bigger than them. We can only be defined by our dreams and aspirations, by what we can achieve. It's never about what is in front of me, but what is it that I can put in front of me? What are those ideas, no matter how crazy, that I can work with others to bring to reality. So when we talk about energy, we know it's one of the challenges that we've been having in this country. Nothing says that we can't divorce ourselves from traditional energy sources and go for renewables, solar, wind, geothermal, so that every home, every office, every school is powered sufficiently by this type of energy. We talk about architecture, it's going to be tied to energy. Renewable architecture, we know there's a house in deficit in the country. Why not highly advanced architecture that is affordable and energy efficient that would be available to every family in this nation? That is doable. And it's doable when you commit that yes, you can make a difference and you work within a team to achieve such goals. Transportation, one of my topmost passions. We know the world is moving towards renewable energy powered vehicles, electric vehicles to be uh, precise, vehicles powered by electricity, vehicles that don't need petrol, vehicles that don't need uh, diesel, but purely electric power that may be derived from the grid or from um, uh, solar. This is also another advanced technology that can add value to Nigeria. We can't dismiss it and say, no, that's not possible here. It is possible. And while I worked at GM, uh, like mentioned, I designed the Chevrolet Volt electric car that set most of the balls rolling. Here in Nigeria, there's a Nigerian assembled Hyundai Kona EV that is also 100% electric. Those types of vehicles aren't just for overseas or other places. They would add significant value here. And to prove that, yes, EVs are applicable in Nigeria, while at uh, NADDC, I championed having those vehicles at three universities, Osman Danfordio in Sokoto, University of Lagos, and University of Nigeria in Sokoto, to prove that, yes, you can bring advanced technology to Nigeria, let it lose with the students, and hopefully they pick up from it, learn from it, and even come up with better solutions. Agriculture another you know, facet of life that needs advanced technology. You know, satellite-aided uh, agriculture, AI-aided agriculture to feed the hundreds of millions of not just Nigerians, but Africans. So we must never be afraid of technology. We must never be afraid of success. When you look at all the countries that have uh, uh, progressed, from you know, the Americas, Europe, and now increasingly in Asia, we see that the impossible is being made possible. You know, we must never be afraid, like I said, of technology. 
We must never underestimate the significance of human imagination, the ability to envision a dramatically positive and dynamic future. Because every great city, every monument, every historic feat as it stands for the whole world to see was one spear thought. Nothing but imagination, but acted upon and brought into reality. So to imagine is to dream. To dream is to tune into the ever amazing possibilities of the future. And when we do dream, it has to be big. Because to dream small is to totally underestimate the amazing capabilities that lie within each and every one of us. This great country, Nigeria, from the Atlantic shoreline in the south, through the grasslands of the Middle Belt, all the way to the rolling hills and bright blue skies of the north, Nigeria is truly a magnificent and blessed country. Yes, we have crude oil. Yes, we have natural gas and a wide variety of raw materials. Yes, we have fertile soil that could be cultivated to feed hundreds of millions. But above all, above all, at our very core, what we have is our humanity, that magical inner spirit that glows from within, that magical inner spirit that makes us an integral and crucial part of the human civilization. And so we must see ourselves not just as Nigerians, but as members of a global community, sharing constructive ideas, sharing inspirations, and together coming up with solutions for the betterment of humanity worldwide. We must not be afraid of success, but we must individually and collectively focus on progressive solutions so as to better our lives and the world. And like I said, we must never be defined by our current problems, because they're not who we are. They're only problems. We must only be defined by our dreams and aspirations. We must only be defined by what we can achieve. We must only be defined by a better tomorrow. Nothing is impossible. There are no impossibilities. There's only a better Nigeria and Africa to build. Thank you very much.